same way I want to pony pride here with SMU starting quarterback Garrett Gilbert. Garrett, you know, he came into practice this week after having the weekend off. It's the bye week for y'all. Most fans, though, I mean, they don't really know what happens on a bye week for players. Can you just explain, like, how you spend your weekend when you don't have a game? Uh, well, I got to go home this weekend. A lot of guys kind of stay around, get a little bit of treatment, try and get healthy. I did the same, but I just... Took a, took, a, took a quick little trip down to Austin, uh, hung out, not, didn't do much, sat on the couch, watched football all day, <laughs> Saturday and Sunday. So, I mean, speaking of watching football on Saturday, did you get to see TCU take on Virginia? I did. Got to watch them, watch little brother play, so um, <laughs> that was fun to watch. Um, you know, obviously kind of watch them with a little bit of a purpose when they're on defense, too. I mean, you speak of your brother. I mean, that's kind of an interesting thing about this game is that you have a brother playing for TCU. Can you talk about that a little bit? Well... You know, not only that, it's 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 a rivalry game, TCU SMU, and um, it's a it's an important game for us uh, going into conference to get some momentum. So, you know, you've got a lot of I guess little storylines for you guys. Um, but yeah, it'll be fun getting to see Griff on the field before the game, and, and uh, hopefully say hey to him. You know, this is going to be your first time in the TCU SMU rivalry battle for the Iron Skillet. What have you heard about? I mean, what do you know about this going a in? A lot, you know, a lot of a lot of people a lot of people like to talk about it. Obviously, you know, for me. Um, I think it'll I think it'll be a lot of fun. I think the atmosphere is going to be great. I think it'll be a lot of fun. But uh, for us and our team, um, we have one simple goal in mind, and that's to go get a to, uh, to to get a victory. Well, what have you seen from TCU on film so far? Well, they're very good defensively. You know, um, um, they uh, they do a good job with their with their defensive line. Their defensive line is able to get some pass rush with their four guys, which is which is big for them because then they can drop seven into coverage. And mm -hmm. um, they're very well coached. They're good at what they do. They don't have many mental errors. So we're gonna have to be sharp. Um, we're gonna have to um, we're gonna have to go into it with a good game plan and do a very good job. You know, it seems like their defense really thrives off of turnovers. I mean, they had a couple on that Virginia game. So as an offense, what do you have to do to make sure you take care of the ball and don't give them those turnovers? Just that. Just be smart with it. Take care of it. Um, you know, it, not make mistakes. Understand when the play's there and when, it, when it's okay to punt. Um, and at the same time, you know, we want to make some plays offensively. So we've just gotta. We've got to do a good job of, of understanding our offense, understanding the play call, understanding down the distance, understanding the situation in the game, knowing when plays are there and when plays are not there. Do you feel you know more comfortable with this offense and the receivers going into this game than any other game this season? Each and every day, I feel more comfortable with it. You know, it, I feel like it's going to be an ongoing process for the next you know year and a half, I guess two years that I'm here. Mm -hmm. um, every day, I feel like I'll learn something, get a little bit better at it. Um, in terms of mastering uh, the offense. So each and every day I feel better with it, and each and every day you know, um, I know a little bit more and get better at executing what we're doing, um, and we get better as a team. I mean, do you think that this offense really needs to have that breakout game? Like, are you all kind of itching for it? You need that success on the field? We want to be 2-2. Two and two. You know, however, <laughs> however the job gets done, on Saturday, that's what we want to do, and that's you know that's our goal. You know, a lot of focus coming into the season was the offensive line, but it seems like they've played pretty well so far the first three games. What have been your thoughts, you know, being behind them? They have done they've done a, a very good job for us. So, you know, especially since since two days to this point, I think they've come together very well. Done a great job. You know, we've got a lot of young guys on the offensive line, but they've they've been um, <clears throat> very good in terms of executing as a unit, in terms of being able to communicate with one another and stay on the same page. Um, you know, how you would you say you and the receivers uh, are growing together? I know that you keep saying that you're getting better every week, that you keep learning together, but you hasn't been able to take that to the field. Do you think that you've done stuff in practice this week to enable you to do that? Absolutely. You know, again, it's all about it's all about putting yourself in those game situations, being able to take it to the field. And I think we've done a good job of that, of you know, putting ourselves in those situations in practice and understanding, you know, for example, on a certain down or distance, on a certain play, you know, okay, guys, we ex expect blitz here, but we're all on the same page in terms of we know where our adjustments are, we know, where, we know what to be looking for. So we do a better job of communicating um, and then getting on the same page, and that helps us have success. Um, well, you know, looking around the league, the NFL, they're about to get the rest back. I mean, you a little happy about that as a football fan? Absolutely. <laughs> I think it's about time, you know. Um, now, it was, you know, obviously, I read a quote about Aaron Rodgers. Those guys are... I read a quote from Aaron Rodgers last night. You know, those replacement refs were obviously doing the best they could, and they were doing they were doing their job to the best of their ability. But you know, they just didn't have as much experience as the real refs. And and I guess you know, fans have kind of been spoiled with the quality of refereeing um, over over the over you know, the past few years. So um, you see a little bit of a drop off when they don't have as much experience. But you know, it'll be good to have the, have the game back to um, I guess the high quality that we're used to seeing. You know, how much football do you watch during the season, like on Sundays and, you I know? Watch, you know, I try to watch a ton, um, both as a fan and as uh, a 
quarterback to try and learn. Um, I try and look at a lot of Aaron Rodgers' stuff, a lot of Tom Brady's stuff, a lot of Peyton Manning's stuff, um, a lot of Drew Brees' stuff, and, and, and Eli Manning as well. You know, I feel like those are the top five guys playing right now. And, um, you see them make a lot of plays and, um, and, and, do, a very, and do a good job, um, you know, orchestrating their offense, um, running their offense. So I like, watching, I like watching the game just for fun, and I like watching them get better as well.